Hey yo, I'm Fila and welcome back to another 7th Haven video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter. Shouts out to Elon Musk for making this happen. He has turned X into such a great platform and he still has a long way to go. But what is Twitter? He has made this so much better. Now, um, I'm pretty sure at the time of me recording this video, he is going to be streaming Diablo 4 tonight on X using this exact same method. So just to show people that they should be streaming on X because X has been doing such great things, honestly. And this is just one of the many things that he does want to compete in the stream world. So how you do it is you want to go to studio.x.com. Studio.twitter.com also works until they fix that. Um, when you do go to that, you're going to come to this website and you have to have a premium subscription. Sorry, if you don't have a premium subscription, then you should get one. It's definitely worth it if you are serious about streaming on X. Once you come to this website, then you're gonna come to, um, you're gonna go to producer and it's gonna bring you straight to Media Studio, which is where I'm at right now. Now, I'm not sure if you can do this on a phone, but you do, I am on desktop, you probably do have to be on desktop. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to sources. Um, sources is what you're going to do to create the stream itself before you start streaming. You want to go to create source. You can type in a name. Uh, we can just type in X test. Okay. Um, RTMP is probably recommended. You want to select your region that you're in. Um, I am in US East and you're going to hit create. Once you hit create, it's going to tell you that success uh, source is created. And you're gonna make sure that you hit the done. So, once you hit done, it's gonna show you your recommended encoder uh, settings. This is what you're gonna use for OBS, or some people use Streamlabs, whichever one you use. It's gonna tell you exactly what's recommended so that you can get your video quality as good as possible. The important thing is, before you leave this page, is to copy down the stream key. So you want to go ahead and copy down the stream key. This is super important. Uh, go into your OBS and you want to go to the settings. So settings is going to pop up and you want to make sure that you go to stream. Um, select your service. This is going to be Twitter for me. Uh, make sure you select your server and you want to put in your stream key. Your stream key is what we just copied. You hit the OK button and you're going to hit start streaming. Now, obviously, right now I'm recording, but you're going to hit start streaming. In your settings, if you want to go back to that, you want to go to output, and this is where you check to make sure that your stream quality is actually good. Right now, I have mine at 11,000 bit rate. That is what's keeping me afloat right now. I feel like that's better for my computer right now. Um, and I do have my encoder preset on balance, but you can definitely change this to quality or speed if you feel like you need to do any of those. The audio bit rate, um, like I said, they're going to show you everything that you need right here. Audio bit rate, the channels that you should probably have, the video codec, all this. Um, but anyway, you're going to hit done. So once you hit all that, you're done with all that, you hit start streaming. It's going to tell you that it's streaming, okay? just in the OBS. Now you go back here and you want to go to broadcast. Now you need to create a broadcast. Hit the create broadcast key and you're going to put, uh, this is fine, X test again. Okay. Um, you have to select your category. I'm going to put esports and video games. Um, select your source. Remember the source that you created. This is the source that we created earlier. It's called X test. So that's the source URL, the stream key is right there, and that's going to take a couple seconds, maybe 10 seconds, and then eventually it will pop up with everything that you're doing right now. Um, the audience, you can put public or private if you just want to test out the broadcast, you can start it immediately. Um, the advanced settings and all of this, you can show chat in full screen mode, you can enable the encryption, uh, you can have a custom start times you really want to, but that's all up to you guys. And once you're done with all that, you do hit create broadcast. Create broadcast is going to say that your broadcast is created. So this is live. You are now almost live. <laughs> you will actually go live whenever you hit the tweet button. Hitting the tweet button, you'll be able to uh, create a, you know, a, a name, X 
tests, for instance. And right now, I'll probably need to turn on my game capture, which it is on right now. So X test until you hit the tweet button, it is not going to go live. You hit the tweet button and then everybody will be able to see you going live. You view Seventh Haven's tweet and it should bring you right to it. Now, right now, I do have some stuff going on in the background, so it's not actually showing, but it will show you live and I'll show you guys an example real soon. All right, and we are back. Do remember whenever you create a new source, because what just happened to me is I created a new source. It generated me a new stream key, and so I wasn't able to actually see my broadcast. Make sure that you recopy the new source and put it into your OBS browser. So whenever you get everything straight, you want to go to a uh, tweet. Whenever you go to tweet, you know, like normal, you put X test. It's All right. pretty normal. And then you hit the tweet button. Okay then it should you should be able to view your stream um, i'm gonna go ahead and turn my game capture back on and i will view my stream um sorry let's go ahead and do that right, you view the stream and it should just pop right on up um, whenever you are out of your screen capture your game should be popping up right here as you can see this is my name this is everything that's going on. I am live right now for zero viewers. This is how you stream on uh, X, ladies and gentlemen. He set this up just wonderfully. Um, you probably need to use your phone to actually see the gameplay in general, but he set this up just wonderfully. Um, I love what he did, and I think that X is eventually going to rival some of these streaming platforms. So definitely be on the lookout for some X streams. You'll see them at the top of your um, timeline on the Twitter, uh, on the X app. If somebody that you're following is live, trust me, you're going to see a decent amount of streams. You're, they're probably going to have to make an entirely new tab eventually for just live streams. And that is whenever you're going to see like a, a significant boost on X, in my personal opinion. Um, once they get the monetization down, which they took no time getting the monetization down for just tweets and generals and impressions. So I don't think that they're going to take too long uh, to get the stream monetization down and to mimic some of these other platforms. And X is not just for gamers. Um, obviously, I am playing a game, but you could be doing a point of view stream. You could be doing a, a real life stream. You could be uh, journaling, journaling live if you really wanted to, which is really awesome. That's kind of the point of X. Journaling live on X and streaming it would be amazing. I would love to see some boots on the ground work from some of the best journalists around the world, best independent journalists around the world. And so, with that being said, this is how you stream on X. Take advantage of it. It is going to be huge in the future. Fila out.